All right, Coach, uh, 74-64 win uh, over St. Edwards today. Uh, moves you guys to 3-0 on the season. Uh, I thought today's game uh, played out very similarly to the, the two wins that you had last weekend. Uh, you guys had a, a you know relatively comfortable lead throughout the second half. The one difference being uh, they made a, a nice run uh, to make it a four-point game late. Uh, coming out of the under four media timeout, you guys out, end up outscoring them ten to four down the stretch. Um, just what did you guys do down the stretch to uh, to seal the win? I thought we made plays, and I thought uh, for us that was good. We needed something like that. We needed a game where you're you know it's four points at that under four media timeout, and you gotta you've got to get some stops, you got to get some key rebounds, and you've got to be able to make a play offensively. And Deion Hamilton and Jeff Redband made big plays in those last few minutes for us, really big plays. And that was great to see. They've, uh, you know, they, they are going to be really good players here, and they're a sophomore and freshman. And it's good that the other guys trusted them to make plays. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that in itself was, uh, was good to see from the coaching standpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, similar to the, to the last two games, um, a very good defensive effort from your team. And through three games now, you guys haven't allowed more than 64 points. Oh, way to jinx us there. <laughs> Going into Edinburgh. Uh, specifically, uh, I think a tough task for your team today against uh, Ramir Burton uh, from St. Edwards. Uh, goes to Austin Tech, you know, a college in Austin, Texas. He's from Niagara Falls. He comes home. He's playing in front of his hometown crowd. He's their leading scorer. Uh, you guys did a good job bottling him up, held him to eight points. It's uh, eight lower than his average. We tried to – we knew. We had to know where he was at all times. And a lot of their offense runs through him. And uh, we did. Deion Hamilton did a really good job on him. And Xavier Long off the bench did a very good job. But but also our big men. Our big men helped. Uh, both Alex's, Alex Borges and Alex Milinovich, did a really good job of – of helping in the lane and trying to make him have to kick it out. And then we rotated to shooters, and we were able to get them to miss just enough to, to get the win. Uh, you brought up Alex uh, Milinovic. i got to ask you about him. He steps into the starting lineup. Um, three games in a row now, double figures. Uh, he gets a double-double today, 21 points and 12 rebounds. You just talk about the impact that he's having out there for you. He was great. He was great. He, uh, um, he told me. A while ago, he was going to make it tough when a reef came back to, uh, you know, for me to get him out of the lineup, and he's doing that right now with the way he played today. There's no doubt about that. He, uh, I, I thought he moved. He was moved so well without the ball. He cuts. You know, we, we, you know, guys look for him. They find him, and he's, you know, yeah, um, he has a very good skill set. And uh, he's when he has 12 rebounds, you know, he's playing center. He's a little. He's undersized for a center, but he was able to to match up with their big guys and compete and play hard-nosed enough to, to do that. Man, he's it's, uh, it's uh, really a, a credit to him, and, and, and it, it's going to help us going forward, there's no doubt. Uh, you mentioned the defensive job Deion Hamilton did. He also uh, a couple of big baskets for you down the stretch. And uh, Jeff Redband, uh, redshirt freshman, really nice bounce back game for him. He had uh, kind of struggled with his shot last weekend. He ends up with 15 points for you today. Uh, you know, just talk about uh, Jeff, what you saw from him. Uh, Jeff takes everything to heart, and he misses. You know, but we thought when we watched the film that he didn't make shots last weekend but he he affected the game in other ways he played very good defensively and really was probably our, one of our best defensive players as we watched the film um today he made some shots and it just opens the floor up so much more for the other guys it gets guys to the hoop you saw Darius Garvin driving to the hoop Supreme Hannah driving to the hoop and uh you know Jeff Jeff making shots now people have to stick to him we saw that when we played UB and he has that ability um and uh, he just you know he, I thought he had a big, two big shots in the second half. One, the shot clock was down with a left-handed layup, and the other, a short, about 15-foot mid-range jumper, were big. And then Dion, you know, Dion, we've talked about this has got to be the year Dion makes that next step. And Dion is, you know, is trying to get to that point where he does make that next step. And he hit two big layups off of cuts, off of ball movement, which, um, you know, helped us kind of pull away there at the end. Um, uh, 
Great job on the backboard for your team today. You guys end up winning uh, the rebound battle 42-34 uh, against a team that played primarily two bigs the entire game. And you guys are playing uh, a little bit smaller lineup. Yeah, we have to be small, but we have to be tough. And in fairness to them, their starting center was home. His grandmother had passed away, so he was home, and he's coming back, I guess, uh, this weekend. They play Roberts on Monday, so he's flying up uh, Sunday. But, um, you know, they were bigger than us, there's no doubt, and we had to really compete. And you do that, you win the rebounding boards, not necessarily with the centers, but with the forwards and the guys. I thought Jesse Lalka, Xavier Long, guys off the bench, keeping balls alive and tipping long, re you know, offensive rebounds out to people and guards chasing them down. We were able to do that, and that was good. The other thing I thought was real big is we had two turnovers in a half. We scored 40 points in the first half, and we only had two turnovers. And I believe we had 10 assists on like 16 baskets. So that was really good to see. It was really, we, we hadn't been good handling the ball in the first two games, we didn't think. And the second half, we were good. We, I think we ended up with only seven turnovers, so we only had five turnovers in the second half, too. And we had a lot of possessions, and to only turn it over seven times is really a, a good thing for us going forward. Um, so we mentioned you're off to a 3-0 start. Uh, really playing without Arif Mametai, your leading returning scorer. You're missing probably three out of the top five guys in your backcourt through the first three games here. If, if I would have told you two weeks ago that you were going to start 3-0, and what would you have told me? I would have said you're, you're getting you're, – I don't know what, what you've been drinking, but you got to be careful. Um, but he, I, I wouldn't have believed you. I, I think, you know, obviously with Jay Sarkis out and Nick Petroselli out, uh, those are two guys, you know, we counted heavily on. Um, JJ was out and Arif was out. I mean, those are two more guys we counted heavily on. So, um, But we ta we've talked about – that we've had guys who've played games before, Xavier Long, Jesse Lalka, Alex Borges, that have to contribute a little bit. You know, they might not ha they might not score 15 points, but they have to do something to contribute. And then you get the guys who start; they have to grow into their roles, and they've done that. And now we'll go through an adjustment period. We'll bring back Arif and JJ, and as they come back, um, that'll hopefully make our bench a little deeper and allow us to rest some guys going forward a little bit so we're not playing upwards of 35, 36 minutes. And uh, hopefully makes us better as we head into a very, very difficult stretch coming up. Uh, yeah, that stretch uh, coming up next week, a lot of teams will take Thanksgiving week off. Uh, not you guys. You guys will play schedules Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, uh, two of those games on the road, one at home. Uh, all three of them coming against uh, Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Which I believe Damon's won one game against in their history <laughs> or something, so I already know. But we're us, we, you know what, we'll go one at a time. We said in the locker room, we got to win an at game. We got to get, in, we've had home games, we got to get one of those at wins, you know, where you're on the road with, and uh, this is an at game coming up. So you got to play, you know, you got to be smart, you got to be tough to win on the road and get and win an at game. So we're going to try and win one of those at games on Wednesday. And I believe five of our next six are on the road. And we start league play, and the three league teams we play all were picked ahead of us in the uh, preseason poll. So we know we know we have a very very tall task heading into mid December, but we can't look too far ahead. Got to go one at a time, the old cliche, and just see you know, build on what we've done and get better. All right, coach. Best of luck next week. Thanks, Mike.